Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's OOB adventure brings us to the Shattered Halls. You guys, as a community, had voted that you wanted to see more Burning Crusade content, and that got the highest vote. So we are going to continue the Burning Crusade content. Now, I'll be super frank, super honest with all of you. There isn't too much outside this OOB. I haven't actually jumped out here yet into the abyss. I'm assuming that's all DC. So I haven't done that yet. But I did get to the entrance. So and I'll prove it. You can actually see the gate that goes straight into the um, the dungeon right there. And the gate you can actually walk into. So it is solid, which is pretty neat. Um, so I, I managed to get out and explore kind of this um, back rooms type liminal liminal space area that's in the front here. And I love it so much. Uh, before we begin the video, I just want to mention to everybody, I've got some awesome news. I have officially started a Patreon OOB page. So if you want to support the channel and get awesome OOB guides. I've already released two posts in there. There's a thousand more to come, <laughs> uh, but it's going to be awesome. I mean, I'm already having fun. I already made one guide for the deep run tram and I'm planning on doing, um, well, not going to spoil it, but I'm planning on doing some more this next week. Uh, and it's just going to be great. I mean, it is $9.99 a month. I know that's kind of a high price, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring some awesome stuff in there. Some exploits, hacks, uh, best toys, OOB guides, detailed, very detailed, how to break out of things, where to go. Uh, just if you want to learn more OOB, join the Patreon page. It's going to be awesome. It's going to teach you to be an expert in OOB, and uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm hoping the Patreon page grows. I'm hoping I can provide some fun and detailed content in there. Uh, hopefully people are going to be interested. So. But let's get to the video. We are in the Shattered Halls. And as you see, we're already outside. Now, if you come outside, you're going to see not too much, but you're going to get some cool views here. I mean, you get the whole sky of Outland out here. Now, what's really kind of sad about these older dungeons is because of the tech and the hardware was so limited back then, and they didn't want you to load like a ton of stuff um there's not too much outside of some of these older dungeons which is which is really disappointing i was hoping there was going to be uh at least some of hellfire ramparts outside unfortunately there isn't so you know this is it this is really what's outside uh it is really neat though because i love liminal spaces i love the backrooms content i love stuff like that so this is like just a joy for me to see uh, I don't know if there is more stuff in the abyss down below. My guess is no. I'm assuming that is just... That's it. <laughs> I think that's just all... This all DC right here. I'm definitely going to jump in there to test it out later. Uh, but uh, yeah. So this is kind of neat though. I mean, you get this really awesome view of this liminal space of the entrance of the dungeon. And all of it's solid, which I'm really surprised about. But I'm glad we're able to walk out here. And if you actually come back up the ramp, you can get up on the very top here. So, and that actually getting up here um, is walkable as well. But you can go down the hallway here to the left, and this will bring you off to the side here. And you kind of get a good glimpse back into the dungeon with the gate and all that. So that's kind of an awesome view. And if we zoom out here, you can kind of see the whole structure here. It's not too big outside, but it is pretty neat to see. So if you're a sucker for liminal spaces and you love doing liminal stuff, uh, this is definitely one you should definitely check out. I, I love liminal space. It's pretty neat. Now, if you come back over to the right side of the hallway, you're going to see um, this shot of the dungeon as well. And then you can kind of get a view of the sky of Outland out here. 
Now, if you guys want to know how I got out here, obviously, you know, you can join the ATN membership um, on the YouTube channel, or you can join the uh, Patreon page and even get more details on how I got out here, the toys I use, the technique I practiced. Uh, yeah, it's just very detailed. So anyways, I'm going to, um, I'll be right back as there's one more thing I want to show you guys in this dungeon that I want to check out. All right, as we're walking through this dungeon, you know, I, I kind of get some vibes going through these old dungeons. Is it just, you know, you reminisce the past, you you see things that um, you saw as like, maybe some of you like me grew up as a kid playing World of Warcraft. And a lot of the stuff is just bringing back so many good memories. Um, I used to, sorry, I had to get some water. I uh, used to play this game a lot with my older brother and my younger brother. And so we had a lot of brother, you know, play time together, uh, playing the game. And that was just one of our favorite things to do. And it was just, it was just awesome. So going and walking through and actually getting going back and doing some of these older OOBs is fun in that aspect where some of them are challenging because of the way they were made. Um, and some of them are easier than others because, because of the way they were made and the hardware limitations on everything. Uh, a lot of them you can just straightly jump through the wall and just basically get out of the dungeon so they didn't have a lot of death walls they didn't have barriers they didn't really have stuff to keep you inside the map it was just you know the tech wasn't as great as it was now um and i'll be honest with you guys the war within the beta that i've been playing um has been cool uh, it's really awesome. I'm excited for the War Within content. I can't wait to break that and get out of the map there. But uh, they've gotten really, really heavy on the death walls in there. I'll be honest with you guys. And uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge for sure. I haven't even done all of the Dragonflight content. I haven't done Shadowlands yet. So I got a lot of content for you guys here in the future coming up. And that just makes me excited because... Uh, I've never seen videos on certain places yet, so I'm going to be kind of the first one to do these OOB videos. Uh, especially for newer content like Dragonflight and all that. So, But yeah, as we're walking to the very end here, I just wanted to reminisce the past with you guys. And uh, just kind of talk about a little bit of um, what I used to do as a kid. And play with my brothers and... So it's just, it's a cool place to walk back to. Now I forgot, this place was a little long. Uh, it does take a minute to get back here. So, all right. We have a finally arrived at where I wanted to get to. So this is actually the final boss room in the Shattered Halls. Now you can actually get under here and you can walk around. And uh, I'm going to show you how here. Because I don't really count this as a real like OOB. But uh, you just jump up here. Or you should be able to jump up here. Uh, let's see, where is it? I had done it earlier. You can jump up. I think it's right here. There we go. And you just walk up this thing and you'll just fall straight through. And there you go. Now you can actually get under here and walk around. So it's so, just a little neat. The problem is with this dungeon, there's not too much to see. <laughs> like I told you guys. This is about it. You kind of have the entrance and then you have this underground here. So I'm trying to do my best with these older videos because some of them are kind of tough to show off because there isn't too much to show off. Uh, but this is kind of neat that you can walk down here and you kind of get a better glimpse at the floor below and everything just kind of uh, unloads. And you can actually this as you see the human, he's just standing on nothing. So that's kind of funny. Now, the way you get back up um, is you can actually just use a toy over here like the uh you know dark moon seesaw or the sandbox griffin and uh you'll just get back up there so not too hard pretty easy to do there we go and now we're back up so and my reputation with honor hold increased by two for just doing that okay that's Oh no, that probably was the enemy we killed back there. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's kind of random. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the Shattered Halls. I hope you guys are enjoying this Burning Crusade playthrough of uh, the OB. So I hope you guys can get a chance to check out the Patreon page. I'm going to be posting a lot of cool and awesome guided content in there to be an OB expert. 
And uh, as always, guys, I will check you in the next video. Take care.